porch is done. Let's go to the house. Monday traffic. Hey Luna. Party. A little longer than a few minutes later. If you're a regular follower of this blog, by now you should know that I love electric vehicles. Whether it's a booster for whether it's a one wheel or whether it's a go-kart. I don't have any pictures of go-kart. But anyway, um, the city of Tampa a couple of weeks ago announced something that is really excited for me and I want to show it to you guys. But first we need to find one, so let's go. All right, let's see if we can find those things quick. Weather in Tampa these last few days has been freaking hot. We only have one rain this morning and it's been hot and dry for, I wanna say at least eight days, so. Now the city of Tampa has electric scooters. A lot of people don't like it. I think they're pretty fun. Yeah. Scooters arrived to Tampa Bay and I can tell you I'm so excited for it. I've been waiting for that thing for a while to arrive. So yeah, the weekend before Memorial, I want to say Saturday, Saturday, the city of Tampa sent, an, uh, sent a Twitter and also posted on Instagram that the e-scooters were available for rent all over downtown. Dude, we were like, what? We were like so excited. It's just like, I don't know, we own a booster board and we own a one wheel, but dude, it's just so exciting that now you have those things all over the place and you just have to rent it and you just go on it and you can just leave them anywhere i mean in regards to that you can leave them anywhere yeah that's true but like you shouldn't just drive it to the door of the restaurant or to the to the business that you're gonna go and just leave it in the door you wouldn't do that with your car so don't do it with the scooter okay so far there is four companies here in tampa lime spin jump and bird and pretty much all the works the same way so what you do is like you download the app if you're gonna rent a line you download the app for line if you're gonna rent a bird you download the app for bird and so on and so on and so on now after that you come and you're gonna scan a qr code that is in the scooter qr code you just put your camera from your phone on it it will scan it and boop it unlocks the scooter i'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be a faster way than taking an uber or taking your car but dude, it's gonna be so much fun to ride it. Usually, most of them start with $1 to start and it's usually between 15 cents to 25 cents the next of the minute, so it can add up really fast. But dude, like I said before, it's so much freaking fun. Now, the rule says that you couldn't be on the Riverwalk, Bayshore, or Ewer, but people are going all over the place. Can you jump? Nice. <laughs> They announced it on Saturday and on Saturday they were gone, dude. You couldn't find anyone on Tampa. We went out around 8 o'clock at night to like, okay, let's just go out for a ride. Let's just rent those scooters. Dude, 
there were none of them all of them were like totally depleted we have to like go around and find one and look at this thing look at them things Ooh. and then we started using that one to go and drive around two persons in one scooter i don't recommend it but it was me and leslie in just one scooter trying to drive around downtown to find one electric scooters just arrived in tampa how are you doing back there now, how do this compare to a one wheel or a booster port? I mean, it's totally different. It's safer, that's for sure. It doesn't go at the same speed. Depending on where you are, it will go faster or it will go slower. If you're on the river walk, it's not like it, the, the scooter is gonna stop on you, but it's gonna go significantly slower. Another thing, it's super hard to vlog on this thing. I'm holding my camera right now, but it's not as easy as it looks. So I'm not gonna be doing this that much, but you should try. Okay, it's time for me to go back to the house. Bye. Nice.